January the 29th. From First Norma. Oh my God. <laughs> Janie, no photo bombing in the background. I see the wheels turning. Okay. Now, don't start that Not now. right now. <laughs> no. All right. James. January the 29th, okay, is uh, 1961. And this, got, this is during basketball season. I played on the, the girls' junior high team, and, of course, Pop was on the senior team. So two or three of these days actually go kind of good together. But January 29th, 1961. Last night at halftime, we went out to get a drink. And Frankie, that was my husband's brother, was talking on the phone to Mrs. Bundy, his mother. I talked to her for a minute. You know, she was kind of feeling me out at this point. <laughs> <laughs> he was spending way too much time with me. <laughs> okay. Weren't so, you a disruption to sports? I, I, yes, <laughs> I was a distraction oh. from his athletics. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, yes. So I spoke to Miss Bunny. I talked to her for a minute. The score at halftime. Now listen to this, guys. Was 23 to 11, our favor. <laughs> okay. Anita and Stan, Dodie and Carl, now they were all big buddies, were at the game. I scored a lot of my points on foul shots. Okay. In other words, I was getting being beat up. <laughs> we play Antioch on Wednesday. Now, mm -hmm. I want to go ahead and read you the next night too, well, because this was minute. really... What year was this? 61. Okay, you remember this being white? This was a year before I was born. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to argue with you on that one, Rick. I'm not going to argue. So the next day, I remember this is basketball season and we're in tournaments. I went to the tournaments tonight with Cheryl Dalton and I rode home with Coach Liggett and his wife. Remember, I didn't have a car. My mom and dad didn't have a car half the time, so I had to bum a ride, which I had no shame. I just did it. <laughs> I rode home with Coach Liggett and his wife. We watched four games. I didn't get home till late. Here we go. Y'all ready for this one? This is what I wanted to read you. Jimmy's mother caught him coming home very late Saturday night. Mm -hmm. I remember that like it was yesterday. Can you say that one more time? How late are we talking? 8.30? Uh, no, it was about 2.30 <laughs> in the morning. Oh! oh. Yes. So I, she, that's, she, that's she, 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 she means late. She means late. I wanted to... Nothing, to happen, nothing any good happens after house. 12 o'clock. <laughs> I don't know. Nothing. I <laughs> 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 And um, this Monday, yeah, yeah. So it, the night, the day before, though, well, let's see. There was one more kind of related. To, this was all these basketball tournaments. This was involving my mother. We played Cumberland tonight. We won 38 to 17. It was our first game of the tournaments, and I scored 19 points. Ooh, Yay. Go. Go, mom. The boys played Dupont and won. Jimmy brought Butch and me and Frankie and Randall home. Jimmy and I went up to Anita's. Now, Anita was the bad girl, remember? Oh, yeah. That lived across the street. She was the Rizzo. But she, she, was Rizzo. she was all for me and Jimmy. Make sure we've got the narrative here. <laughs> Correct, <laughs> guys. Okay, you know, okay. Everybody's seen Rizzo. Well, she was like Rizzo, but I like her. We made some fudge. <laughs> oh, you wild people. wild people. Jimmy and uh, somebody came down the house, stayed down the house till 2 a.m. My mother woke up while he was there. She thought he had surely left. That was it. That truly. Oh, Just a little so idea of what was going on this time, 1961. What was going on? <laughs> it wasn't when Papa 